Yeah, I mean, I don't think I don't think there was ever a doubt that he was a legitimate NBA player. Um, I think everyone was just kind of waiting on him to turn that corner. Um, he, you know, he seems that he's like he's turning the corner. Uh, you know, I think he's been in some pretty tough situations. No one ever blames the situation, though it's always the kid. No one ever blames these shitty franchises. Just always want to blame the kid. It's not always the kid fault. And he, he's getting older now, so he's not a kid anymore. But you know, he came into this league as a kid. But it's never the organization fault. It's always that guy. So I'm happy he's got another opportunity to show. You know what he can really do. It's, you know, it's a prime example. But no one's still to blame any organizations. It'll always be the kid fought, and it'll be the next kid that come in fought, and the next kid after that. So, happy he's gotten this opportunity. Why don't you think organizations get more blame in, in that case? Because you're friends with them, and, you know, you, you want all the access from them. So, you know, the way... You guys will come out and bash players. Y'all don't do that to organizations because it's all about access and protecting your future. No one really protects the younger guys' future because it's all about what can I do for myself. So no one talks about the organizations. It's always just the player, player, player because they can't do shit about it. But be young and carry name, carry no weight, and then be out the league and on to the next thing. So. That's what I think it is. You know, no Phoenix, no Phoenix writer is gonna bash the Phoenix Suns. But let's be frank about it, when he was there, the organization was terrible. Everything was going wrong. But he get blamed like he's the problem. When he left, ain't nothing go right. So, that's my take on it. All right, my G, good to see you, bro.